of the young children join me down front here. We're going to sit in a circle. And come on, kids. They're very busy. That was me saying, can we? <laughs> come on, guys. Now or never. <laughs> Kind of make a circle here. I want you to be able to see everyone's face. Can you sit down here and, yeah, I want to make sure you guys see my friend here, Sam, too. Um, so, today's uh, scripture reading was talking about testimony. Do you guys know what a testimony is? It's when somebody uh, shares with you something about what's happened in their life, uh, you know, what God's doing in their life or, or things that are happening. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, um, I was on a video during the generosity moment talking about heading to Idaho with a bunch of teenagers. Any of you remember that? Yeah. And so we went to northern Idaho and we worked in the Silver Valley and um, at a place called Idaho Servant Adventures where we go and every day we go out and we serve the people of the valley and then we come back to the camp for some adventures and uh, worship and, and of course sleeping. And I uh, want somebody to share a testimony about that week. And this is Sam Lunder. He graduated from high school this year and is going to Edmonds College. And he was on the trip with you, and he's going to share a testimony with you. Hello? Is it on? Yeah, you're on. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, hi. Um, I'm Sam, as you heard. And I'm just going to share a few things uh, from church camp that I thought were super awesome. So what's different about the Idaho Servant Adventure is that it's not a normal church camp where you go and, you know, you play games, you do the songs and worship. You do the songs and worship, but not only do you play games, but you get to help people. My favorite thing about helping everybody was that I was able to do some of God's work, bringing helping people and um, just working through God. And the camp there was super awesome. Another thing that I really liked about it was that I was able to have a community there of a bunch of really nice people. You know, when you go to someplace new and uh, you don't know everybody there, you get a little nervous and you're like, is everybody going to be nice? Am I going to, you know, be able to make friends? And when I, when I got there, everybody was super nice, and I made friends instantly. And I think that community of everybody there, you know, worshiping and um, following Christ was a really, really awesome thing, a really good way to, um, you know, meet new people, and follow in God's path. And the final thing I want to talk about with everybody is um, the, the support and uh, in worship there. There is multiple times throughout the day, one time in the morning, when you would do um, first word and you'd read a scripture and talk about it. You would have a Bible study in the afternoon during lunch where everybody would talk about a Bible verse or a few, which was super fun. And then towards the evening, we would have more a deep dive into um, Bible study with a bunch of people where we would talk about it and learn, and it was super fun. And it just helped me grow closer to God with everybody there supporting each other, talking, having a good time. And there was this one specific night um, called Prayer Around the Cross, which was super special, where they had, uh, even in a chapel, there was a cross laid out with a bunch of candles in it. And everybody would go up as, uh, when, when they felt like it, and they would light a candle for a prayer that they had. And what that created was a sense of community and friendship for everybody. And that's something that I'll always remember from church camp. 
is that sense of friendship and community that I felt there. What kind of work did you do uh, during the week, you personally? Me personally, I helped out with a food drive, so I gave out flyers um, to houses, and then later in the week we picked up the food, and we collected almost a ton of food, to around 2,000 pounds. That's how much food we collected. Uh, Thank you. And then um, I also uh, weed whacked a lady's property, um, you know, fixed a canopy. There's a bunch of busy work, just helping her out. Uh, redid some insulation. So that was super, she, uh, her name was Bev, and she was really nice. She gave us brownies after too, which was awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it's always nice to, you know, be like you're really helping somebody because sometimes things can feel like busy work but when I was there I felt like everything I was doing helped the person or a community uh, through God. So Luther Haven Ministries has been running this camp now for 26 summers and uh, it's just changed the lives of people in the Silver Valley so much with all these young people showing up and, and doing work and uh, it's just an incredible experience to go there and the adults that come work right alongside the kids. Um, and we learned so much walking with the kids and uh, working alongside them. I just thought it would be also important for you to know, um, at uh, Shoshone Base Camp, it's a forestry, former forestry camp, and they have a rock face there at the camp that uh, they let kids climb. And there are two routes, one's easier, than the other, and the other's more difficult. And they had a record set at that camp for uh, 37 seconds, I think, 38 seconds, going up the, the rock face on the hardest part. And Sam gets there and he breaks the record. <laughs> he breaks his own record three more times and gets it down to 27 seconds, new record for the camp. Not even staff has climbed as fast as, as Sam here. So. It, um, it's a wonderful adventure. We hope sometime you guys can go with us on one of these youth mission trips to be able to serve and uh, serve the people wherever we go. So let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the safe travels for the team that went to Idaho and the return and the great week of service and learning and growing in faith. Lord, we thank you for this congregation and how it supports the young people, those sitting up here as well as uh, the teenagers and the uh, uh, preteens. We pray that, Lord, you will continue to work through the camps and Bible camps of uh, the Pacific Northwest, reaching kids with your good news so that they can give testimony to you. In Jesus' name, and all God's children said, amen. amen. Thank you, Sam. Thanks for coming up, kids.